All right, Jason, the state reporting 469 new cases of the coronavirus, bringing the statewide total to more than 48,000. Today's headlines, Dr. Anthony Fauci revealing during his Senate testimony he's optimistic about scientists developing a vaccine, but he doesn't expect one in time for the start of the school year. Here at home, the Archdiocese of Detroit announcing public masses will be able to resume one week from today. We'll take a look at the guidelines being put in place coming up at 1130. And the state's education budget will likely take a big hit come next school year, with lawmakers expecting a 10 to 25 percent cut. What many people are unaware of is that testing for the COVID-19 antibody is readily available and testing for the virus has been expanding. Our Mara McDonald live tonight in Bloomfield Hills. Mara, actually both of these tests are being offered at Beaumont Urgent Care Clinics. That's right, Devin, and you can just walk in and get it if you have to. Beaumont tells me that the antibody test is available at all of their urgent cares and the COVID virus test is available at some. Urgent cares like emergency rooms have seen a precipitous drop in traffic. People are afraid of catching the virus, which is why they want you to know that not only is testing available, but they're taking all precautions. For example, they'll bring you into the clinic if you are free of any symptoms and they'll finish your registration. And if they find that our rooms, our exam rooms are full or our waiting room is more than one or two people, they'll ask you to go back into a car and wait for the exam room. The COVID-19 antibody test is readily available at Beaumont Urgent Cares. But remember that a positive result is not a golden ticket. It's wholly unclear whether having had the virus grants you any type of immunity. You can just show up to get the antibody test or you can book it online. Some people may not be uh, very tech savvy and, and not comfortable doing it online. So we want to make it convenient for what's best for you. Which means you can also just walk in and request the antibody test. The cost depends on what your insurer is willing to pick up. As far as being tested for the virus itself at urgent care. Register online for through a virtual visit or if you show up again, they're going to screen you. And if you have symptoms, they're going to ask you to go back into your car, do a virtual visit, and then they will set up an appointment so you can actually get COVID testing. Back here live, there are a lot of people around the state who say they had COVID-like symptoms in early February, even January. And I will tell you that Ohio says it has figured out that it had coronavirus in Ohio in January because of antibody testing. We're live in Bloomfield Hills tonight. I'm Mara McDonald. Back to you. It'll be really interesting to see what that unlocks for us. All right, Mara. McCarthy